Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries. Let's take a look at the orbital view here. And we are uh, finished with New Exford. We've done all the clan missions and um, are ready to move to a different planet. So let's see, Eaton we're finished with, Outreach never has anything, uh, Helleran 5 we finished. So we have the uh, Solaris 7 Arena, which is just a bunch of like arena fights. Um, there's no real, you know, story for it, um, so I think I'm just going to skip it. I mean, it's just mech battles. Uh, in the interest of, you know, finishing this Let's Play eventually, let's uh, move on to Stick, which is, of course, in the Capellan Confederation. Okay, so here we are on Stick, and I'm just going to do this reinforcement mission. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to really quickly set up everything because uh, it's going to be a pretty long mission. I'm switching from my Sunder over to a Madcat Mark II. Um, I'm going to uh, try out this new Vulture that I just bought. And I'm going to give him a Marauder, I think. So uh, let's go ahead and start. That's a great Get voice actor, huh? Here to mop up these ground pounders. We have to relieve Hammer at Alpha. Roger. Allied stilettos are inbound. Time to target six zero seconds. Spectre Lance, disengage and double time it to Alpha. Let the Flyboys clean up here. Attack your closest target. Roger. Roger. Roger six. All right. Phew. So um, here I am in my Mad Cat Mark II. Let's just kill some of these guys real quick. And um. Lately, I've been experimenting with uh, heavy rockets. Yeah, I'd, I barely even knew these things existed, but they are really, really powerful. Like, I don't even believe it. So, uh, yeah. You'll get to see some of those whenever I go up against some actual mechs. And, of course, I have uh, large pulse lasers, also. But the range on those isn't quite so good, unfortunately. Roger, Roger, Roger. Okay, it doesn't really matter because my lance has got it covered. Come on. There we go. What? Uh, here we go. We got some mechs. Finally. Each of those heavy rockets actually does about 20 damage. Not that easy to hit with them, of course, but, uh, you know, if you hit with a couple of them, you're doing a ton of damage. That's like equivalent to a uh, Gauss cannon, but with so much faster uh, reload, it's absurd. What do we got here? A bushwhacker? Yeah, okay. Of course, uh, for faster mechs, it's really hard to hit them, but... You know, if you're going up against heavies, uh, so good. Target 
And what do we got? This guy. Another bushwhacker, no problem. Oh yeah, look at that. Acknowledged. Intercept beta aggressors at best speed. Hammer Lance, we'll cover this flank. You hold here. Copy. Thanks for pulling our butts out of the fire, Spectre. Thank the commonality. They're footing the bill. Roger, Spectre. Roger, Spectre. Roger, Spectre. Okay, I gotta get to Nav Beta. And none of my guys are going there, because even though I told them to. Look at this. Order. I'm gonna hit F I'm gonna hit F5, go to nav point. Roger, Lee. Roger. Roger. And they're just walking to the left. Really guys, really? Where the hell are you going? Nav point's right here. Oh boy. The naval yard reports turret grid at fifty percent strength. Now you might notice that on the bottom right I've changed my uh, the damage display to be the uh, more data heavy uh, version. I'll be honest, I kind of did that by accident a while ago, but I don't really care enough to fix it. And we got little alien creatures in here. I'm going to try and kill them. I don't think he can. It's disappointing because in um, MechWarrior 3 you can blast apart like humans and they just explode and it's awesome. Um, if I can ever get that working right, um, I'll definitely try and record some of that. Because MechWarrior 3 is my favorite game in the series by far. And I'm having a lot of problems getting it working. Uh, this is an old game, and on Windows XP it has a lot of bugs. One of the funniest is... Um, mechs and tanks and just about everything will like bounce really high into the air for no evident reason. Really don't understand it. That's all right. It was very funny to watch. And when I, I mean, they'll like bounce really high, like to the limits of the map, vertically, and then nothing can target them, and it's ridiculous. If I had a few more ballistics, I could probably knock over one of these uh, bushwhackers. Whoa, move it. I think my guys aren't attacking enough right now. Because, uh, it seems like it's just me fighting off like three mechs. <laughs> That's probably not good. I mean, I'm, I'm doing fine, so. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Target destroyed. Target yeah, we get a patrol boat, no problem. Another patrol boat, blah, 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 blah. Not a big deal. is in range of my rocket, but it's really hard to hit with it. And I am on stick, which is in the Capellan Confederation, and the Capellan Confederation is, at least as far as I'm reading the, uh, the books, they're pretty much like the bad guys of the Battletech universe. They're just really evil and crazy and, um, yeah. So, you know, they're, they're like the Liao's, or however you pronounce it, Lia Lao, I don't know. Um, and yeah, in the book I'm reading, or I finished actually, um, Lo Lost Destiny, I think it was, uh, the Liao's are 
kind of crazy, and they one of them just got assassinated, and then they assassinated Davian, um, the, the the king or whatever he is. Which was, by the way, was really really obvious. They tried to play it off like, oh, is he sleeping? He's sitting in his chair. Oh no, he's poisoned. What? But it was like really obvious. Anyway. Another kind of crappy way to end it, I thought. Just with uh, Victor Davian's father getting assassinated. And that was like the last page. Ah, you stopped moving. Look how fast I can fire this, by the way. <laughs> That's 20 damage every shot. And I can just fire them rapid fire. Over. Roger. We ain't going anywhere. Target destroyed. Another one bites the dust. 